Hello all, my name is Taylor. I'm from Firebolt. There are so many acronyms in the data space. Going to be giving you a very brief rundown of what ETL slash ELT is today. So let's go. ETL, which stands for Extract, Transform, and Then Load, is a data integration pattern emerged in about the 1970s, and it's exactly what it sounds like. People are extracting their data from their applications, databases, sources, files, storage, systems, applying a transformation layer, and then loading that data into their targets. Usually, people are using ETL to move data into a data warehouse, but there's lots of other uses for it. You can use it for data migration, operational data syncs, loading data marts, master data management, even application integration. It kind of just depends on what you need it for. There are a few ways to go about ETL. There are vendors that provide a fully managed, some less fully managed than others, ETL pipeline. There's Informatica, Kibula, Stitch, Matillion, Fivetran. There's tons that I didn't mention. And there's also the option to write and build and maintain your own ETL pipelines in-house without going through a vendor. Um, with the advent of vendors, there became a new pattern that emerged called ELT, which means extract, load, and then transform, which kind of became popular with data lakes because you're able to load raw data into a data lake and then transform it afterwards, which basically is shortening the time that it takes to create new reports because you don't have to go back and ask a question to the data again. The data is already loaded and then you can ask the question in the data lake. Um, which is awesome, who doesn't love saving time? And people kind of see ELT as the newer approach, ETL as the older approach, but in reality, people are really doing ETL, TL, TL, TL across their data pipelines. It's, that's just how it is. Um, there's also some TEL in blockchain, but for the most part, the software industry has limited the two most common patterns to ETL and ELT, and I'm hoping for all of our sakes that they will not LET a new pattern happen. I knew that was bad, and I still said it. Anyways, we've got some more resources over here for you if you want to check them out, and thank you so much for taking a minute. Thank you.